Today I'm going to be showing y'all how to make tons of gold with the stocks dungeon here. I'm going to go ahead and get right on into the strategy. So what I like to do first is make sure my ice armor and my arcane intellect is up. I also want to make sure I have me at mana ruby and at least 40 each of these here cinnamon rolls and crystal water. The very next thing I like to do is go ahead and, and cast up ice barrier and go ahead and drink and make sure I'm back to full mana. Once you're at full mana, I like to let this run down to where there's about a 15 second cooldown remaining and then we just take off. What we're going to be doing here is we're going to go in this first room here. We're going to do a rank one arcane explosion. We're going to blink back to this other room and grab these mobs. We're going to turn left and hit these other two rooms right here. Rank one all the way, rank one. Go ahead and reapply that ice barrier. It's done fall off. Go ahead and blink again. Just run through the mobs. I'm gonna grab these three. Sometimes there is a patrol. You can grab him too if he's here, but if not, that's okay. Just kind of grab these guys right here. Wait for them to get here. Just frost nova. Back away just a little bit. If you do have a mob, that's okay. Flame strike right into Kona Cold. A few arcane explosions. And you're ready to go. Go ahead and get your ice barrier back up and start drinking. Once you're full mana, guys, look for this patrol. Hit him with just a rank one or just run through it. Rank one arcane explosion. We're going to grab these four rooms on this side, just like the front. Blink through here. Grab these guys. Blink a little late there. Go ahead and reapply that ice barrier as soon as it runs out. Blink through there. You don't have many mobs on this guys on this side that will stun you guys, but you will every once in a while hit one. That's okay. Just keep moving. Flame strike into Kona Cold again. Gain explosions. And go ahead and sit down and drink. What I like to do is let that ice barrier go ahead and cool down. As soon as it cool down, I'll go ahead and reapply it. And then sit back down and drink again. Let that mana run all the way up. For this next pull, we're just going to grab the rest of this section over here. And once we're done there, we're going to run back up and go to the right side. Okay. I usually don't wait till full man on this side. There's not too much uh, to worry about on this side. It's the other side that'll get you with the stuns. Run in here and grab these guys. Blink out of here. Same thing here. Grab these guys. They'll just be running through these mobs. It's okay. Your frost barrier will go down here soon. Go ahead. Apply it. Rank one these guys again. Pull them up. Frost Nova. Hit them with that flame strike. And then into Kona Cold. More arcane explosions. You get the picture probably by now. Go ahead and link back up the stairs here. Ice barrier still on cooldown. We'll wait for it to come off cooldown to reapply. Apply that, sit down and drink. Okay, this guy's is the hardest part of the dungeon, this pull here. There's tons of mobs on this right side that like to stun. So what I like to do, I like to go ahead and keep the ice block. Make sure your ice block is off cooldown. And make sure you have a mana ruby just in case. I always like a health pot just in case, not every time I use it. But it does come in handy. It saves a lot of time. It's usually around, it's pretty cheap, two gold or something like that. So I always have them there just in case. So it's going to look a lot very similar to the other side. Go ahead. Our ice barrier is good. We can fully cool down. Lobble to get stunned there. <laughs> Go ahead and blink out of that first one if you're still in that first room. Grab these guys. Going to move on. Reapply that ice barrier again. And grab these guys. I like to pull them a little back here and then blink away from them so I don't get stunned. Grab this guys, and this guys, and this is the sketchy part. You kind of run it right at them, make them kind of glitch a little bit. And you want to try to get a frost nova and get out of here if you can. All right, we got it. Hopefully, Cam doesn't stun us here. Okay, same steps. That ice nova. I'm sorry, the uh, frost nova into that. Uh, Flame strike and Kona cold and arcane explosions again. Go ahead and eat and drink. Gonna reapply that barrier again. I forgot to stop my stopwatch. That's awesome. <laughs> Out of the whole purpose of the six minutes. 
we can always just look back at the time. Go ahead and drink the pool here, waiting on that ice barrier. It's good now. At this point, you can mana ruby if you want to at this point, or you can evocate either way to make the run faster. Um, I rarely use evocate, but you could probably use it every other run. Go ahead and pull this guy here. Got to run in this side. And the reason I do something a little different on this side, and I'll tell you why. So, I don't go to the middle room next because this mob in here named Basil, Basil, whatever, Basil Bread, if you pull him into one of these other rooms or too far, he'll reset. So, I always like to get right, left, just blink out of that if he gets done. And then go in here to him and rank one. And these guys do stun a lot too. You want to Frost Nova again here whenever we get in there. There we go. Go ahead and Flame Strike into Kona Cold again for that big shatter damage. Go ahead and Arcane Explosion a few times. Everything will be dead, and then you're good. You just run out and rinse and repeat. Okay, guys, now I want to go into a little bit about the talent here. So first, I'm just going to kind of go and show you exactly the spec in case you just want to plug it in. And then I'll kind of go back and talk about everything. So I do not go into Arcane. I go into Fire and Frost. And this spec is all about Frost Noving. Go in your flame strike and then immediately hit them with that Kona Cold and then finishing them off with that Arcane Explosion. Okay, the main things you need for this is your Shatter. Gives you a 50% chance to crit on Frozen Target. That's that Ice Nova, then boom, hit them with that Flame Strike. And if that wasn't enough, in your Fire side, you have improved Frame Strike. Okay, that's going to increase your Critical Strike chance by your Flame Strike by 15%. So this makes it a 65% chance to crit. And then we come down here to this Master of the Elements. Your fire and frost spell criticals refund 30% of their mana cost. So what this does is now you've got that 65% chance to crit on your flame strike. You hit them with that, you gain 30% of your mana back. You hit them with your Kona Cold, you're gonna crit somebody with your Kona Cold, you're gonna get 30% of that mana cost back, right? And if that flame strike crits, it's also gonna burn them for 40% of that fire damage from that flame strike. And that's the bread and butter of this build, guys, is just get those big crits and get that mana back. And where I differ from a lot of people here, I don't go into improved Blizzard if I'm just doing stock runs. It just slows you down because you could have that in Frost Channeling and gain 15% back on all your Frost spells, including your Frost Nova, your Ice Barrier, your Cone of Cold. You get 15% mana back for all that. So instead of that, I elect to just throw that in. Now, some people will go into Piercing Ice, but I would rather have the 5% mana back than the 2% extra damage. And as far as the Fireside goes, you can go impact guys, but I elect to go improve fireball. I don't ever use it, but I found that impact would separate my mobs. So after I would frost Nova or I would at frost Nova, hit them with that flame strike. Some of the mobs would get kind of left behind as I kind of ran away in arcane explosion. So I'd rather not have that not happen. It is good that they're not on you, but it's bad that they're not getting hit by an arcane explosion. And also this burning soul here, guys, if you get a mob that's on you one of them didn't get frost nova right and you start casting flame strike this gives you a 70 percent chance to not lose any casting time not get any of that knockback or pushback when you're casting it so that is key to get that off in time when that frost nova as far as gear goes guys i think that you know you're going to be fine in blues and you probably are going to be fine in greens as well as long as you can find that eagle gear with that intellect and stamina on it um, I'm not having any problems in the blues I do have. I do have a few epics, but they don't really help too much in here. There's some frost resistance pieces I was using for SM. But I do have epic Arcanist bindings here that I bought off the auction house. But other than that, it's strictly all blues here, guys. Except there are a few things that I've got out of Alteric Valley. <clears throat> so um, I think you would be just fine if you just had green gear with just intellect and stamina on it. Another thing worth mentioning as well is the Knight Lieutenant Stookwalkers here has the minor speed increase and chant on them. That helps you build that little bit of separation that you need to get away from those mobs. Another thing worth mentioning, guys, is the level requirement to get into Stockades, and that is level 15. And you could run this all the way to about level 30. At 30, you're just going to start getting to where it's not worth them running here, and they probably need to move on to other things like the Scarlet Monastery. I've also found that it's about four to five runs per level. So you can tell people, you know, you can expect to get around one level from doing these five runs. So that's very helpful information if they're kind of wanting to know what they're getting for their, their gold. I usually charge around 125 gold a run for this for four individuals. So that's 500 gold for those five runs. 
so what you'll do to get those guys is just open up trade and or open up your trade chat and go i have a macro that i like to use that's just stock and it says want to sell stock boost 125 gold for five runs level 15 required that helps them there as well to know if they're eligible to get in or not and usually about five minutes i'll have my five people and we'll be on our way as far as add-ons go guys the only one i really use is nova instance tracker it's really good at letting you know how many instances you are until you lock out you can always look up here at the very top and see the 29 minutes 48 seconds is how long we've been in this one and if you were at five instances uh you would see a timer there to let you know when you could walk back in also what it does as well is click on the little icon here you can go to your trade log and see who has actually paid you for the run now guys what i would like to show you is what can go wrong when you're doing this dungeon what's the most common pitfalls and how you can get out of them i'm going to gather these first rooms again like we did in the first section here and what can go wrong i'm just going to stop here and kind of explain if you eye snow right here and somebody gets away and they kick you these mobs can kick they can stun you don't have enough time to throw up your flame shock just go ahead and cone a cold keep try to max rank them or max range them here and just go ahead and do this just keep arcane explosion max rank and you'll be fine and get out of it don't try to sit there and cast that flame strike because what's going to happen is is they're going to come out of that that uh frost nova there and then your cone of cold is not going to hit them hard it's not going to crit them very well and you're not going to get that mana back that you need so if you get stunned or you get kicked and you look up and you don't have enough time for your flame strike to go off with that um that frost nova on just go ahead and cone a cold and kind of stay max range and just burn them down with arcane explosion okay guys so another thing that can happen to you is you do all this they break your nova and it's everything is going bad nothing's going right something went wrong whatever it may be and you need to block okay the main thing you need to do is make sure you use your whole block make sure your blinks off cooldown because if it's off cooldown you can blink whenever it comes out so if those mobs do stun you right when you come out you could instantly blink away and wait for them and just go ahead and hit them with another frost nova and start over okay so that's a good way to be able to use that ice block efficiently to uh, make sure you have that blink don't ice block and then just un ice block and cancel it out immediately go ahead and just wait let that blink come up let your ice barrier come up let all your cooldowns come back up and you should be good to go to be able to get away from your mobs so they don't look stunning but yeah guys that about wraps this one up i'll be bringing out more content for other dungeon boosts here in the near future if you found this one helpful please let me know in the comments and don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe as it helps me out in that algorithm appreciate y'all being here and see y'all in the next one